Okay, so today guys, we are back at the tractor. We're in the cat today and we're doing some more field pollinating. It's supposed to rain tonight and we just wanted to get this work down before the rain came so that when it's done raining, we can work this once and then we can plant it. So as you can see, I have something else behind the field cultivator. I have the rolling baskets that they are called. And what they do, is, it's just two baskets that are breaking up all the extra lumps that come from the field cultivator. And it's breaking up all those lumps so we get a nice fine seed bed. Because we need a nice fine seed, seed bed in order to tie weed, rotary hole, and cultivate. So we're trying to get a really nice fine seed bed. And it's working really nice. It's a little drier than it was a few days ago. It's a beautiful day out. It's like 60 degrees. It's really nice. Probably warmer, but I don't know. But it's working good. Sorry. Oh man, that was crazy. I'm gonna have to put you guys down because I need to turn. So, so I just got turned around. Okay, that was my radio. Um, I just got turned around. And sorry, <laughs> um, so the computer elevator that I'm using is a triple K. It's from Spieldies. I don't know, you can call it anything, either one. It's 36 foot long, and then the few cultivator teeth on it are four inches wide, and there's probably like 90 legs or so on here. And then the rolling baskets, the double rolling baskets. And when I see a rock, I'll get out, and I will what the double rolling baskets look like. Well, it didn't take me very long to uh, find some rocks. Just gotta pick these up quick. Um, how's that? See if I can grab it with one hand. Okay, there we go. I was at a different field before this, and I picked up a whole tractor bucket load. Like, yeah, it was a lot. And I was, I probably feel cultivated in maybe 20 acres. So yeah. So this, these are the double rolling baskets. And as you can see, there's just two rows of baskets and then there's some spikes up there. Those are just moving like really fast with the field cultivator. And as you can see, it breaks up quite a bit and makes it really fine. Here's another rock. Okay. So this is what it looks like before the, I mean, this is what it looks like after the double rolling baskets. This is what it looks like before. As you can see, a lot more lumpier. And we want it to be really fine so that's why we have these field cultivator does have a set of rolling baskets but you need it to be extra fine i'll go put my rock in my rock basket and then i guess we'll get moving again so what we're really after right now is to just level level off the ground because last fall was a rough run rough one it was really wet and that thing ever dried out. So the rip job wasn't ideal, but we got it done, but. So that's what we're doing, leveling it off and just preparing it so we can plant. And I have to turn again. So just getting this all folded up. And cause I got this field done and I will be heading over to the next one. Okay, so here we go. So I never filmed when I got to this new field. So sorry about that, but I just remembered to start filming again. So out here picking up some rocks again. Oh man, that's a big one. I'm gonna have to Wow. 
deep at all. I'm not bringing up mud or anything. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty decent. This is before the rolling baskets and then after. Yeah, Definitely can tell the rolling baskets break up a lot of those. Breaking up the dirt balls is so important for us specifically because we farm organically and so when we are time weeding rotary hoeing or cultivating we don't want to be cultivating like dirt balls we want nice fine dirt so we can move it right up next to the plant because that's how we kill the weeds when they're little we just bury them they don't have sunlight they won't survive but so we need to have a nice fine seed bed and it's supposed to rain tonight I think I already mentioned that but so it'll rain tonight and then we'll work it once more be we'll work it right before we plant it and then hopefully that'll be good 